Hey guys, it's Steve, and today we're going to be making NASCAR Gen 6, NASCAR Gen 6 mod, and BeamNG.Drive. And all you're going to need is Paint.net and Notepad++. Both of these are free to install, and they'll be linked down below. As well as my 2018 All-Stars pack. That might actually help you in making your skins a little bit easier. And let me explain that in just a moment. You're going to want to make a new folder. You can just tab in. And you're going to name it Vehicles. Inside of there, you're going to want a NASCAR folder. And inside of there, for every skin you make, you need a new folder. So today, we're going to make in the 2021 Almendinger car. You're going to need a, a DDS copy of the body, a NASCAR JBeam file, and a skin.materials JSON file, a copy of the nameplates folder, and in there will be nameplate materials. It's a JSON folder file and your DDS nameplate. Um, going back to what I had said about how my mod might make it a little easier, if you don't want to have to dig through the original mod and pull up all of the original script and delete the original script, if you're not very good at that kind of stuff or you're not very familiar with it, download the mod, unpack the mod, cop copy a folder out of it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to go here we're gonna go to mods I did the all-star mod so um, I, yeah you guys y'all want to use the all-star mod any of my other mods if it'll make it easier for you guys to make your skins in I don't care you get you guys have my permission um, so I just unpacked it in here we've got four skins and I'm going to drag my Casey Kane skin over I'm going to delete the Almondinger skin. I'm going to show you why it's a lot easier just to drag and change. So we just unzipped this. We can go back into our mods folder. If you want to keep the rest of that pack, you can. Just drag it out of your mods. That way so later it doesn't do the duplicating mods glitch and neither of them work. In your new folder over here, you're going to go into your driver. Now, again, I said we're going to be making AJ Allmendinger skin today. If you do a copy and paste, make sure you change the names. And whatever you name it here in this folder, it is consistent the rest of the way. And I will show you where and how and why you got to change things. Also, maybe the Casey Kane one isn't the best one because when I zipped it, I accidentally zipped it with a couple of folder uh, photo files. You don't need those extra photo files. Like, see, they're not they're not in any of these other. Well, wow, I don't even know how that ended up in here. But yeah, it shouldn't it shouldn't have any more than this in here. Shouldn't have any more than this in here. All right. This is our Almendinger car. We're going to go ahead and rename the body. No. We're just not going to work with the body. You, you can get rid of the body. If you go into the original mod, you can find the body decals image. It's going to be a PNG file. You can just drag that in there. That's your template. Let's work on the nameplate first. We're going to open this with paint.net. As you can see, it's the old cane banner. You're just going to want to match the color. Make sure you get it all out. And when you put your nameplate on, do the best you can to center it. It might look centered here. But if you open it in the game and it's not centered, you're going to feel pretty bad about it. It's an easy enough fix. You can always come back in here and fix it, rezip your mod, but pain in the hassle. Does anybody really want to do that? All right. Let's do... You got to make sure you uh, make the text white, too. That's important. Um, we're going to cap lock Almendinger. Now, I like personally, because this looks kind of close to the NASCAR banner... I like to use this one 
Bond shrift condensed. 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 Okay. I can't read. I can't believe I graduated high school. And uh, you're going to want to set that to 144 for your size, font size. Bold it. Isolize it. It's going to look slashed like this. It's in the middle. I think it's beautiful. And um, we're ready to save. So just like you named your earlier folder right here, name it the same thing. I also just realized I left my cat blocks on. Don't worry about typing dot DDS at the at the end. You just want to save as type direct draw surface DDS. Okay, and you can delete your old banner. Now we just have the Almendinger banner. I guess I gotta save it just from opening it for a sec. Okay, we're gonna open this. Cool, we're gonna get rid of the rest of that. That way, so I'm not confusing myself. So you see, we copied this from the Kane one. So it still says 2018 Kane in it. We're gonna go up and hit search. Replace. And you're gonna type in, define what? Whatever the old mod, if you're using the 2018 Larson, it'll be 2018 Larson. If you're using the 2018 Gone, it'll be 2018 Gone. If you, it, it just depends on which mod you're copying it from is what this will say inside of it. And you're going to want to replace that with whatever your new mod is being called. And then you're going to hit replace all. It should occur in five places. If it doesn't occur in five places, it didn't do it right. You're going to want to save as nameplate.materials. You don't need to change the name if you copy and paste it over. You don't need to change the file type. You can replace it. And we're done with nameplates. Um, let's go into the J-Beam NASCAR part. This is all of the original NASCAR J-Beam you need, which is why, I, again, I say it's probably easier to just copy and paste from the mods. You're going to go to search, replace, and look at that. It's ready for you this time because you already did it once. All right. Okay, I see what happened. It's normally three occurrences, but it didn't change it up here. So the only thing in here that you have to change manually that... It won't change for you. It's going to be this line right here. What I've just highlighted. That is what it'll pop up in the parts menu as. So like when you go up into the skins. And you're flipping through. And you see a Mark Miller and all of the other ones. Uh, if you've got the All-Star Pack. You see the Larson, McMurray, Newman cars. All of that. This is, this is the name is what it would pop up as. So since I'm doing a 2021 pack. I'm going to name it 2021 AJ Allman Danger. And again, this isn't specific to what you're doing. Oh, whoops. Cool. Again, this isn't specific to what you're doing. You, you might be just making a skin of yourself. You can just name yourself here if you wanted to. Absolutely do whatever you want to do. Whatever this is, not important. You can paint whatever you want. All it's going to do is it's going to be the name of what it pops up as when you're looking through your skins menu. And then authors, if you want to change your authors, you can. Whoops. Do not do what I just did. Do not enter. Do not hit enter. It will drop you a line. Make it look like this. All right. We are in good shape. Let's save as. NASCAR, NASCAR.jbeam already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. You're going to close it. Now we're done with the NASCAR JBeam uh, file. You're going to open with notepad, skin materials, just like everything else. Again, copying it from the mod. I think it's easier to work with 29 lines than 780 in the original. 
Just my opinion, though. Um, you're going to go and replace. There should be five occurrences. Yep. All right. You're going to have five occurrences. It'll change everything in here for you. Save as. You don't need to change the name. File type. We just copy and pasted from an old mod. All right. Everything for your new mod is done except for the skin itself. Everything. So we're going to go ahead and open this part with paint.net. All right. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a quick example just to show you all what it looks like to just drop it in as it is. We're going to make it pastel green. Is that even pastel green? Yeah. Yeah, it's close. Save as. Let's just say that's whatever you made your skin as, right? That's what you made your skin as. Uh, you're going to want to name it like this. I don't even know what I'm naming it. Hold on. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and pull something up real quick. I've, I've already forgotten. Okay, cool. And it's okay if you need to pull something else up to make sure you're formatting this right. Personally, I'd rather be right than wrong the first time. You're going to want to do body underscore skin underscore whatever you named this file. Because remember, we went through and changed all of that in the uh, in your JBeam and your uh, JSONs already. So, oh, you know what? I just missed the most important part of this whole thing. Oh, man. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. The kids are going to make fun of me in the comments for this. All right. So let me get rid of a couple of these file tabs. Make this a little easier for us to work with. We're going to go back to mods. No. Sorry. I'm still messing up here. You have finished your skin in paint.net, right? Where we had just left off. You're going to come back to your vehicles folder all the way in the beginning. Compress it. Uh, tutorial. Okay. I, I suppose it would probably help if I got the folder location up. I thought I had it up, I guess. I think I closed it down while I was closing the other tabs. So, my bad, guys. All right. So, you're going to zip it. You're going to drop it into your mods folder. You're going to open your game. And while it's booting, you, you pray to whatever god that you believe in. And, and you ask him to throw you a bone and make this thing work. Um, for the simplicity of it, I'm just going to go to grid. Gonna want to open a stock car. All right. Vehicle config. And it should be up towards the top right here. This is the one that we were just working on. And that, my friends, is how you pour the skin into BMNG Drive. So. If you guys really liked that tutorial, I can go ahead and make more. Let me know what you guys need help with. But again, I'm going to do a real quick rundown with you guys. Make sure we know what we're doing. Just one last time. I'm going to do it as short as I can. You're going to make a vehicles folder. You're going to make an NASCAR folder inside of it. Inside of there, you're going to need a folder for your skin. Name it your skin name. This name must stay consistent across the mod. You need... You can get rid of this old body decal thing, by the way. Um... All you need inside of it is a nameplates folder, your body skin, and, and this says paint.net. It keeps it, it does that for some reason. If you save it as DDS, it might say that. But when you open it and it says DDS up there, you don't need to change anything. It's just bugging. Not a big deal. Just just make sure you note that. Um 
So you're going to make a vehicles folder, inside of it a NASCAR folder, inside of it your skin folder, and inside your skin folder, your body, your NASCAR J-Beam, and your skin JSON nameplate folder. Inside of there is going to have your nameplate DDS and your nameplate materials. Make sure all of these things are named whatever you've named this file. And then in here, really, do this however you want to. It will port. Just you know, just make sure that whatever you get on this side, you can equally match on this side or else it might look a little goofy. Resize your images because sometimes when they go, if they overlap, sometimes they cut off and they do not appear down here. So just just keep just keep that in mind. Uh, this, is, this is just a very basic quick tutorial. I hope this helps you guys in any way in your guys' skin creating endeavors. Um, if you guys like this tutorial, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.